Hey, happy Friday, or at least it's Friday today. Um, and I just bought a pineapple. And so I actually, um, pineapples are probably one of my favorite fruits to use, like pretty much the entire fruit except for the top. So first, um, just a quick little note, when you're picking out pineapples, you actually want this to be sort of um, like, kind of soft and a little bit moist, um, because that just represents that the pineapple is gonna be juicy. And then you go ahead and twist off the top. Um, and so what we're first gonna do is just sort of cut the pineapple. I'm gonna talk as I'm cutting it. Um, so hopefully it'll cut off the So I like to cut off the ends first. And then that way, and I put those to the side. And then I cut off, go all the way around. Now, because we're gonna be using the um, skins here, I actually like not super, I try to like get somewhat close to the skin. We don't have to do it like super uh, well, just because we are gonna use the skins and actually, make a tea. Now, the reason that you want to do that is because in the skin and then also in the core is where you have most of the bromelain, which is a digestive enzyme. It helps break down proteins. Um, so that's why like pineapple actually sometimes is used as like a meat tenderizer and that's because of the bromelain, um, which is a digestive enzyme. But I find that it can just be helpful for people um, that I work with who either have just like slow digestion or digestive issues or you just want to help yourself out a little bit. Plus, it tastes really good, which is always the most important part. So I just kind of like cut all the way around here, and then I'm cutting off big sections around the core. Now, most people find that the core is too bitter to eat, so they just throw it away. Um, my husband's kind of strange, and he actually loves to eat the core, which again, you're getting a lot of bromelain, a lot of the digestive enzyme in the core as well. But if you're like me, and like most people, the core is a bit too hard or potentially bitter and it's not all that great um, to eat. But what I like to do is a couple different things with the core. I'll either cut it into slices like this. So this is just that hard core center and I'll freeze it. And this is really great in smoothies, again, because that way you're getting that bromelain, the digestive enzyme, plus you're actually getting a lot more fiber in the, um, in sort of that core. It's very stocky, um, and that's a lot of that fiber. So I'll freeze it, put it into smoothies, and I also really like to, again, kind of cut it into smaller chunks, and I'll saute it in a stir fry, more specifically like a stir fried uh, rice. I'll put little chunks of pineapple, and I'll use the core because when they cook down, they become much softer um, and just easier to eat. So now those are my two favorite ways to use the core, either frozen and then smoothies, or in um, like some kind of stir fry, again, like a stir fried rice works really great. So I'll do that. And then I'm not gonna show you all that though, because that would take a while. So that's what I'm gonna do with that section. The actual fruit itself, um, we're gonna eat because it's delicious. And then the skin, so usually you have like all of this skin like just hanging out, right? Well, what I'm gonna do is, um, put it in a pot of water and I'm gonna let it kind of cook on low to like medium low for like 45 minutes to an hour so it gets really soft and all those juices kind of come out and then from there I'll even use a potato masher um, and I found this somewhere I don't honestly remember where but I'll use a potato masher and kind of like mash out the rest of the juices and the skins I should say too you definitely want to wash your pineapple before you would make a tea with it um, which I did ahead of time and also, you know, there's organic pineapples out there. Pineapple is actually um, on the like the clean list. And so there's not necessarily a reason to get um, the organic as far as I am concerned. So you can just get the regular pineapple. Um, and then the skins, uh, I'll boil down for like, again, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'll actually add ginger. So it'll be like a nice pineapple ginger tea, which is super soothing on the stomach. Um, and especially if you do have any like digestive issues or if you just wanna like take it after a meal, it can kind of help with digestion. And it makes a lot. So this whole, all these pineapple skins, I'll put in probably about a big gallon um, of water, like a stock pot, and then just have it in the fridge for a couple of weeks until um, it lasts. You can also, so I'd like to again, boil ginger with it. You could do um, like add honey when you're ready to serve it or any kind of sweetener if you're into that sort of thing. And then um, honestly, it's just super tasty and delicious. 
Plus, you're getting like huge digestive benefits and all the antioxidants, including vitamin C, because pineapple is we're high in vitamin C. So the other reason I wanted to talk to you about this um, is just because what month are we in? April. <laughs> April is Earth Month, and Earth Day is right around the corner, and I know that food waste is something that's like near and dear to my heart, and it might be yours as well, and so I'm always looking for ways to use more of my fruits and vegetables, and this is one way to do that. And if you're interested in other ways um, to use more of your fruits and vegetables, I do have a low-waste, like a three-day sort of dinner guide um, that I'll put below, and it's just three dinner ideas that are low waste, so meaning you're using more of the fruits and vegetables that you're using in those meals um, to really make it as environmentally friendly as possible, but also like insanely nourishing again, because even though you know we think of skins of the pineapple as being like a waste product, they actually have a ton of um, nutrients, specifically again bromelain. If I could count how many times I said bromelain in this video, like probably be rich. But I hope that you guys found this helpful, and comment below, let me know if you've ever cooked with the pineapple skin or the core of the pineapple, um, and again, if you want the guide below um, for those three meals, certainly check it out, and I'll post a picture of my tea below too, you might be interested to see what that looks like, it's a beautiful color when it's all done. And I'm going to wash my hands and wrap up, um, but again, I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'm going to get my little Easter towel here. Um, isn't that cute? And I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.